We're about to lose one. Get the intruder. Copy. We're almost there. Security breach. Attacking the area. Security breach. Shit, I've got movement. Where? Everywhere. Contact! Yo, yippee, yippee, guy, hey, motherfuckers. <laughs> What's happening, everybody? Hertz here with some more Spaz versus Mercs multiplayer action. A little more uh, Tom Clancy Splinter Cell Blacklist. And uh, well, we're playing some SVM Blacklist mode. We're going back to uh, well, back to the Particle Accelerator. It is the Auto Shotty one more time, the ACS-12. Same loadout as you've seen in previous videos. Or the last video, um, depending on when this one gets uh, gets released. Uh, so we're looking at that adrenaline suit. You know, I'm focusing on speed with this sucker, and I'm digging. You're gonna see some footage from this. You know, I um, I'm sure I'm gonna grab a few videos. Uh, certainly using this weapon, I'm sure there'll be some good footage to put up here on the channel. This one was a pretty solid round. The spy side of things wasn't uh, well wasn't as good as it could have been and I get a little there's a few sloppy moments here with the ACS 12 but for the most part I really you know I kept things on lockdown here you see a little bit of activity my RFD uh, vision mode is uh, well picking up picking up something up there there's a little bit of movement you can see I don't know if y'all know it is go back and watch the grenade that Mark tried to toss there. Bounced off a pillar or beam or something. I don't know what it was. But uh, landed right at his foot. He blew, blew himself up. Uh, good goddamn thing I was there to pick up the slack. You know, and put down outlier. Not that he was in any real position to be, you know, to be posing a serious a serious threat to the, uh, well, the stability of our intel. You know, <laughs> the uh, the safekeeping of our intel. But uh, one of his teammates did manage to pick up a hack here. And this guy, kill me, please. God damn, kill me, please. He does he does earn his title. I do oblige that name several times this round. And uh, you know what? Really, he was... You know, I gotta give the guy credit. He was an ambitious spy. Uh, we certainly... You'll watch it play out. He was an ambitious spy. He certainly did work hard to get those hacks started. But his inexperience did show. You know, I think he was a, a lower-ranked player. Rank 11 or so. 10 or 11. And... Uh, you know what? He just couldn't. He just couldn't bring it through in the end. You know, a little inexperience, but you got to give him credit for ambition. He was certainly was picking up the hacks, and uh, and and really trying to bring in some intel for his team. You know. Anyway, outlier here has picked this one up in the B sector. I'm on the hunt. I'm on the hunt, and right there, you noticed it. You saw it. The RFD vision. The box coming up, and you you know these are the situations where that ACS 12 just not of great value. You know. Amazingly, I missed that grenade there. I don't know how. He survived that explosion. He hadn't even left the area when it when it did detonate. And a miss again with a second grenade. And now I'm stuck here. And look at this guy. I'm so oh, I'm just waiting for him to make a move. And he's he, he's just he's, he's denying me the satisfaction. Yeah. So I'm having I'm having to go up top. And I know he's gonna make a move, but he made the wrong move. And in fact, if he had left, if he had left his vision mode off, outlier had left his vision mode off, he may have snuck away from me there. I really wasn't. You know, wasn't uh, too aware of his presence moving forward. I thought for sure if, if he's going to go anywhere, he's going to drop down to the lower level as soon as I come up. You know, because he was watching me. There's no denying that. Now, right here, I'm squaring off with, uh, what is it, WTH Delta is what I think the name is. Uh, really, by far, that man is uh, the, de the best player the, uh, the the spies have. You know, he's the best player on the other team. And, you know, he was doing some damage. You'll see it on the uh, when we get onto the spy side of things. You know, he was certainly somebody to watch out for. Eventually, I finally do come through there with the shotgun shells to the face put him down but I'm left you know completely dry well not completely dry I was left with three rounds and then that's now gone you know so I'm coming in here pistol in hand a little uh, a little juice in the veins and I'm chasing down outlier and you know what I've been getting the better of him here this this is his retribution as he sends me running around this goddamn cubicle I don't know what you call it just uh, running around the room here and eventually gets to jump on me you know I was uh, God damn, I was mad about that, but you know what? A little bit of balance. I'd put him down a few times at this point, so he was due. He was due to get me once or twice, you know. So there you go, outlier bringing in a nice little slice and dice, a nice little evasive uh, pattern. He was running there, just turning around and and just beat me to the punch, beat me to the trigger, you know. 
So good on him. But uh, this hack on C is still going here. Still going. Starting to get into the danger zone. And I'm, I'm feeling a little pressed. Just kind of enter the room. I see a little activity at the far end. And it costs me. It costs me. My haste. My sloppy haste. Costing me. And, uh, and that's going to be about it at this point. You can see they just crossed the 80% mark. When I finally get back to life, I'm really... I'm going to be useless trying to shut down this hack. So hopefully somebody on my team can come Prepare through and put things uh, put things right in the C sector. And there it goes. You saw the drone go floating on by. You know, and there we go. Shut down at like, I don't know, it was getting really close there. Uh, we were probably pushing 95, 96%. Not 97%, 97%. Look at that. Uh, great job there by Jettius. Uh, bringing in the drone and and chasing down who I think I think it was kill me please you know so he was really uh, you know kill me please in that that time around he had the defenses up he had his team working with them and he was able to survive you know quite a quite a long ways you know taking it deep taking it to the 97 percent but just couldn't complete. But beyond that, beyond that attempt, uh, kill me please, his inexperience will show, you'll just notice he sets up in a few really questionable locations from here on in when he gets those hacks going and, uh, well, he suffers for it, he suffers, you know. Now I did hear a little bit of activity, I come peeking out and, and god damn, did I ever get lucky there, considering that was Delta, you know. And uh, amazingly, I, I survived that encounter because he he crept right up on me, was kind of in my blind spot. He was low while I was looking high, and uh, he should have had me there, you know. Anyway, here we go. This is actually, here we go. Kill me, please, one more time. Not really a great location to be moving to for your initial hack position, you know. And uh, just playing it wrong. Not really cluing into the fact that I'm tracking him with that RFD vision. And I just, all I had to do there was ensure that I didn't get struck by, you know, a knife in the top of the skull. I get suffer a death from above there. And uh, I was certainly going to be okay dealing with that hacker. Now it's just a matter of keeping A on lockdown. And I'm doing a pretty solid job at that. Here comes Delta. Got to watch out for him. You know, and look at that. Look how quickly that, I mean, that's just a sign of experience. He, there was no hesitation there. He went straight to a few rounds. And, and look at that blood spatter on my screen. God damn it, man. God damn it. And I'm hunting down ammo at this point. Time to reload the shoddy. There we go. Picked up a few, uh, you know, stripped down a few guns of their, uh, of, of valuable, valuable ammo. And, and there we go. So here I am, back in the B sector at the heart of the map, and there are overcharged suits being being detonated, and this guy ballsily just got right in there, you know. Look at that, and a second overcharge coming in as well. So there are a couple spies in in the area to watch out for, and here we go. Who is that? Delta, you know, the big old bully, the bodyguard, you know, and 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 falling into a good role as the bodyguard because he certainly he is the one to watch out for. And and there it was. You saw me kill me, please again, bringing the hack in, but uh, a poor a poor setup. A poor execution, but again, I give him credit. Ambitious, you know, he's probably going to shape up to be a pretty solid player. Because uh, the only way to get good is to is to try different shit and fail, you know. And at least she's getting in there, trying shit and and mixing things up, you know, mixing things up. Now this guy getting across, across the balcony. And I get a little retribution. That was the sucker, Mads there, who dropped on my head in the C sector. Gave me that death from above right at the doorway. And, uh, and goddamn, got him with a little pistol fire. Sent him to the next lap. Sent him packing. And they're back here on C. So they're really, they, they've had us running between all three objectives here. All three terminals. All three sectors. And uh, keeping, us, keeping us on our toes, you know. And here we go. Kill me, please. Again. Again. Ambitious. Not a great setup. He should have had me, you know, he should have spotted me and knowing that, you know, using that that cloak device, using that ghillie suit wasn't going to last forever, you know. And he's just not cluing in yet. I don't think he he realizes that I have him on that RFD vision. You know? So that's something that'll come with time for him. But uh, until then, you know, I, again, I got to give him credit. Great job trying to get shit done, you know, just not, uh, it just wasn't panning out for him. And in comes the cavalry, you can see the reinforcements we're trying to get here in both Outlier and Delta. I catch Outlier, you know, making a charge my way, and I will be catching Delta here quite shortly. I've just, I, I don't know where he's gone. I've lost him here in the short term, but eventually he will present himself, especially with a teammate dropping a knee, bringing out the drone, always attempting, you know, always attempting kill for a spy. And there he was, you know, Delta coming out of his hole. Did manage to put down one of my men, though, before I got him. But uh, Maxime there, putting Maxime down. But eventually, Delta did fall to my greatness. Yes. 
<laughs> there we go. And Jedius, I think Jedius actually got the job done with the uh, with the hacker, you know, with the drone. While I was kind of watching his back, and keeping him alive. So, so a great little effort there by the the Merc team. All in all, we're uh, one minute left here in this round, and they get this hack going on a again, again. God damn. They are persistent, this lot. I would imagine it's probably kill me, please. No, it's Mads. It's Mads this time. Somebody else taking, taking the, uh, well, taking the ball and running for the end zone with it. Here we go. See if he can get it done. See if he can find some success where uh, perhaps where where kill me, please did fail. You know. And uh, he's being a little tricky. You know. I've, I'm checking my. I've checked a lot of my my usual locations, my haunts. My, uh, my hidey holes, and I uh, haven't spotted anything yet. So here we go. We're going to do one more little obvious location, and there it is. RFD coming in, sealing, sealing his fate, sealing the deal, uh, giving me confirmation of the hacker's presence. And uh, shit has been shut down. Ten seconds left. It's all but over here. They're going to have to be happy with what they got, which was 97%, you know. That's, that's pretty solid. It's not a full hack and not full terminal, but... Uh, it's pretty damn close, you know. And I uh, get one last kill on Delta as he comes diving over looking for my neck. Which was certainly, you know, because I knew. I knew his presence was, uh, I could, I, even though I hadn't, I don't think I was really aware of how good the guy was. Uh, I could tell just from that one round that that guy was a guy to watch out for. So it felt good putting him down trying to get in there at the last second to get my neck, you know. Anyway, really solid numbers there. They're not going to get much better. Uh, that's what happens when we shut down the uh, the Merc side, or when we sh lock things down on the Merc side, and we have to follow up with the spy side of things. There's not usually going to be too much more video to come, people, you know. But uh, there'll be a few attempts here, you know. Uh, right now, let's take a look at the uh, the loadout. You know what? As much as I love how effective that that ghillie suit is those elite you know the the elite uh, overcharge suit and the elite intel suit just look fucking sick they look badass look at that goddamn outfit you know it's all decked out in the forest camo and he's just looking like a goddamn soldier boy out there you know anyway so it's the intel suit rfd disruption with my emf vision mode uh the uh, the weapon i'm wielding the sc 400s and uh all the rest, all the the body components on the, on my build are armor, focused on armor. And this was amazing. I mean, that just goes to show you right there. If there was any doubt about how good Delta is, well, goddamn, it was certainly confirmed right there. You know, the way he made the run down that hallway. Now, if I'd been posted up kind of at the heart of that hallway around a corner, I probably would have had the better of him. I don't know how he got me around. You know, he just came rushing around that corner. Must have been right on anticipating my movement. Perhaps perhaps he has motion tracking going. Perhaps he was aware of those few steps I took when I was forced to, you know, to uh, to move out of the hallway and, and into the exposed room. And uh, perhaps he was ready for me, just kind of anticipating that I was going to be lingering in the area looking to get a neck, you know, but, uh, but there we go, you know, goddamn, he came in there, flushed me out, and, and did me in <laughs> really quickly there in the C sector, so here we go, let me see if I can get shit going here on A, you know, and, and here we go, this is Delta again, and Delta, don't mess with, the, don't mess with the, with the Hertzman, sir, and you look at that, that was beautiful, that was a beautiful death from above, from that pipe going, I didn't just get him when he entered the room, I dove through the door for that death from above, god damn, God damn. So anyway, like I was saying about this rundown, it's all focused on armor. However, I have changed that in a later build. I felt like I needed a little bit more. I could sacrifice a little bit of armor and just for an extra gadget because uh, I always feel now that I need to have the EMP grenades in there just to be able to take out a drone, to be able to take out a mine if need be on the uh, kind of on the offensive rush, right? When I'm hacking in motion, they're great to have. But with this build in particular, without the cloak, I always feel now that I need some kind of... Uh, some kind of offensive offensive measures and here we go is this delta again yes it is again beat me to the punch every now and then i encounter guys like this that it almost feels like uh i, I don't know how to just, i don't want to take anything away from the guy's obviously a great player but there are some guys that i can just never beat uh, in the melee battles it's almost as if he's by the time i've seen him he's already seen me and he's already you know like there's a bit, little bit of latency or something you know between our uh, what, what he's seeing and when i'm seeing it you know i don't know how to describe it there are a few players like that i'm sure it happens the inverse is true as well against uh, some players that face that square off against me it's just the nature of online gaming but uh, there are some guys that i can just se never seem to beat to the melee punch and uh, it delta is kind of shaping up to be one of those guys you know because he, he came right in there and just put me down real fast, real fast, before I could even get on the trigger to uh, or on the button to try and, you know, slit his throat. 
But what was I saying? Oh yeah, I uh, in a later build for this loadout in particular, I did swap out the armored pants for the uh, the gadget pants, the pocket pants, because I feel like I need some something that can allow me to disappear or go on the offensive, which uh, has really. Uh, I do have a tendency to settle on the flashbangs at this point. I think they're a great blinding device, so long as the Merc doesn't have a flash visor, you know, to protect him from it. But, uh, so yeah, that's that's the one change that is made in a later build of this of this loadout. And here we go, look at this. Unfortunate, you know, I really thought I was going to get the jump there on Outlier, but, uh, goddamn, buck me down with the shotgun. And, uh, and that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. But eventually, there's not much left. There's not much left. I've had a few failed attempts here. I have done a little slicing and dice, and I did a little bit of work in the A sector before finally getting put down. But for the most part, my attempts have been fails here, been fails. And, uh, well, now it's time to get shit. Time to get shit done. Time to wrap things up. It's time for dinner. Yes, and there's Delta. I don't know what he's doing. Whether he was typing something in, maybe he had to make a bathroom stop, a pit stop. I don't really know, but he was sitting there exposed, and I'll take it, sir. I'll take it. I'm, you know what? I'm not ashamed. I'll take it if I see you just standing there. Goddamn, you're done. You're done when Hertz enters the area. And here we go. And I think I'm going to ride things out. I, I wish I could say that it was some grand, exciting hack, guys. But it really wasn't. This is about the, the, the gist of it, you know. Um, I think Delta perhaps is AFK at this point. Uh, you can see the guys. I've already got my teammates uh, moving into a defensive posture. Posting up garden doorways. And nothing really does, uh, for the most part, if I remember correctly, nothing really breaks through. And I'm just kind of stuck hanging around <laughs> waiting for this hack to come in, you know. So, goddamn. So sit back. Yeah, and uh, and enjoy the uh, this screen image. Yes, you're you're gonna see about another I don't know minute of this, another minute of this. But at least we finally somebody's wandered in the area. I don't know what's going on out there. That there's been no merc presence coming in, and he's not gonna survive long. He's getting he's getting uh, <laughs> gang banged down there, <laughs> getting swarmed by uh, by two guys. And I wish, you know, I'm not a big fan of where Mark is posted up way down there. But I guess, yeah, you know, it, it, it's good enough. I would like somebody kind of in the area with me. A lot of spies will have a tendency to put up that, that wide perimeter. But you have to, there always has to be a spy hanging around the hacker to help out if somebody does break through, you know. You, 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 and somebody has to step up to the plate and play that role. And that just doesn't happen often enough. I try and do it, you know. I try and fill that role when I'm, when I'm the guard, you know. But uh, there we go. Like I said, pretty a pretty boring hack coming in there at the end. Wish it could have been better. But uh, I thought the uh, the round overall, the Merc side of things, was pretty solid. Those are great numbers. Great defense numbers. The hack eventually came in. But it was. I can oh, I can admit. You know, it's just that was a little... That was a little sad there at the end, you know, a little anticlimactic, you know. Anyway, here we go. Let's take a look at my numbers and maybe take a look at a few others if they're worth checking out. Uh, there we go. One hack for me, six defense, 24 and 5, really solid. You know, really did carry the team. God damn, I broke my back carrying the team there, people. Actually, Batomir, uh, he came in late. Look at that, 7 and 1 down at the bottom of the list. He came in really late. I don't think he was in the game until the spy side of things was had started for us. Uh, but I remember playing with him in a few rounds after this. And uh, he was a really solid player, a guy to watch out for. And uh, in fact, uh, yeah... Yeah, he was a really solid player, uh, so I got to give him credit. Um, wasn't a big fan of some of the setups. Mark was taking a sweet ass time coming in, and playing a defensive, uh, playing defensively for the hacks. You know, when I was running the hacks in the other sectors, until I had some success there in B, uh, he was really just dragging his feet a little bit. Uh, I should mention Outlier. You know, leading the team there in points, one one defense for him, nine and fourteen. And I got to mention Delta for uh, just for his. You know, he was he was a force to be reckoned with out there, even though the numbers don't completely show that. I think he went AFK near the end as well. Not really sure what's going on there. Two defense for him, 10 and 14. And kill me, please, you know, keep hammering away at it. Now, I, I doubt he's watching the video, but uh, if I could say one thing, I'd say keep hammering away at it. Eventually, shit will click for you. Just needs a little bit more experience. I liked the ambition. I liked the drive going after those terminals. He just couldn't bring it in. Anyway, guys, thanks for stopping by, tuning in, and checking out this, uh, this episode. Hope you
you're digging the series, you know, I promised I'd get this into a, a few dozen episodes anyway. We're still going strong at this point. I'm happy to see the interest. Hopefully I'm not disappointing, even with rounds like this that could have been a little bit more exciting, but I thought this was decent enough to get up here on the channel. Maybe you'll thumb it up, show a little support, leave a comment, say what's up, Hertz, whatever, you know, whatever. Uh, hopefully you're looking forward to the next one, and until then, well, y'all know it. Remember why it hurts, people. Later.